Welcome to America, where you can dream as long as you can breathe. You can be the motherfucker. Writer director Shaka King took up a tall task in his 2021 biopic Judas and the Black Messiah. I mean, how do you capture the politics and personality of Fred Hampton, black revolutionary, activist, and victim of the U.S. government's violence? Well, he decided to tell the story through the eyes of an FBI informant sent in to dismantle the Black Panther Party from the inside. And it's through this perspective of Bill O'Neill, played by Lakeith Stanfield, that we get such a strong sense of how much of a threat the Black Panthers were to the United States, and just how much of a positive presence they were in their community. I mean, from the free breakfast program to setting up medical centers, the film makes it very clear that it is on the side of the Panthers. And it's this honesty with its history that comes from the filmmaker's collaboration with the living family members of Fred Hampton. And that was my biggest fear going into this film, that it would tell the myth of Fred Hampton and not the man. Of course, no single film can tell the whole history of a person's life, and Judas and the Black Messiah doesn't really attempt to. It feels more like an outline of Fred Hampton's politics, like you're reading someone's page of notes based off the full lecture. It's very informative and a fantastic starting point, but I hope that audience members who empathize with the speeches and discussions in the film go off to do their own independent research. I know I will. And I think that's what I look for in a film about a historical figure. Empathy. And this film has it in spades, thanks mostly to Daniel Kaluuya's fantastic performance as Fred Hampton. He captures the power and gravitas that made him such an effective leader, but also the kindness that made people gravitate towards him in the first place. It sort of reminds me of Fruitvale Station. Although that film has far less explicitly political dialogue, it also aims to form an emotional connection between the main character and the audience in order to convey a political message. Of course, this could have the adverse effect of having the audience put the political leader on a pedestal and not really focus on the movement itself. And the film is very aware of this. One scene that stands out in particular is where the Black Panthers are focusing all their time and attention on protecting Fred Hampton from the police, while Fred himself is focusing more on how they can help the community as a whole. And I think this is an interesting dichotomy between the Black Panther Party, a hierarchical political party, and Black Lives Matter, a more decentralized protest movement. And I wish the film leaned more into that, but it's rarely discussed outside this one scene. Either way, I do feel like this movie is a fantastic watch with beautiful cinematography and a fantastic soundtrack to match, and a definite contender for one of the best films of 2021. But what are your thoughts on the film? Do you feel like it's an accurate portrayal of Fred Hampton? Comment below and let's start a dialogue. My name's Riley Locker with YR Media, and thank you for watching.